Hello again. Well, got a new recipe for you. This one's lush. Um, it's an elderflower and lemon drizzle cake. I took this to a friend's last weekend and it went down an absolute storm. So I'm going to share it with you guys and hopefully everyone you give it to will like it as just as much as my friends did. Um, basically, it's a Victoria sponge in three layers, but done a little bit different because of the cream filling and drizzle on top. So I'll show you the ingredients and then we'll get going. Happy baking! Right, the ingredients you will need for this are 6 ounces of sugar, 6 ounces of butter, 6 ounces of self-raising flour with a spoonful of baking powder put in, 3 eggs and some lemon rinds grated into that. And for the filling, you need lemon curd, uh, elderflower cordial, and this is basically the only one I can find, and some double cream, which you can whip up. And that's about it. Right, we'll get mixing. Here we go. Right, to start with, weigh out six ounces of sugar and six ounces of butter into a pan. And once you've done that, get your blender out and blend them all together. So that's six sugar. Now you get your butter, I'm going to slice that up and add that in and then blend it all together. Whisk up your butter and sugar till it looks something a bit like this. Very creamy texture, very kind of golden light. At this point I put in one tablespoonful of lemon juice, so a little dash of lemon juice there and then beat that in till it's all mixed in and looking really light. So full speed, it's looking really really creamy. Next thing you want to do is weigh out six ounces of self-raising flour into a sieve and just tap it through. So it all goes in. I mean, if you don't use a sieve, it can make the cake a little bit more stodgy. This is a, so it makes it really, really light and fluffy and tastes really good. So keep knocking that through, making sure it all goes. Just sieve it around like this. The more you shake it, the quicker it is. There we are, that's that done. So let's put the last little bits in there. And then what you need to do is add eggs. So we can take this off of the actual thing here. And what I do is I always add two eggs, then do the mix, then add the third egg. So one egg. If you can get free range, they're the best. Because we've got to look after the little chickies, haven't we? Chick, 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 chickens! It's always good for them. So give that a mix in on a really low one, the lowest setting you've got, number one. So blend that in. At this point, you want to set your oven to gas mark 4 or 180 degrees and get that ready and warmed up. Okay? So, there we go. Let's get all the mix off of the actual blend bits there. So that's that done, and we're going to add the third egg. And what we're going to do is add the third egg and also one spoonful of baking powder. So I've got my baking powder here. And one spoonful of this. Shake that in like that. And that'll make that rise beautifully. Also at this point, what you can do is get your lemon and grate off pretty much half of a lemon, lemon rind into your mix as well. So do about half a lemon, see? So go all the way around and keep going, keep going, keep going until you've got half a lemon mix and finish the mix up, then blend it all back in, make sure it's all folded in nicely. Now the mix is all mixed up, it should be a slight gooey consistency like that. Not too stiff, not too sloppy, just right. Now I've got three baking tins like this, and I've placed a grease pooth circle I've cut out and placed them in each tin. Now, unfortunately, because I've only got two tins of this size, this is the size I'm using to create the three layers, I'm going to have to do two, then bake the third one afterwards. So separate your mix into three, add it in just like this. So grab it, spoon it in. That was a bit messy, wasn't it? Terrible state of affairs. So, spoon it into your mix. And that goes in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes till golden brown. Uh, final bit, 
direct the oven, should look lovely and golden brown like that. So I put it on a, a cooling tray like that. And the best thing you can do to get them out so they don't break or anything like that, get a sharp knife, just go around the edge quickly, like this. There we go. Uh, turn it upside down. It should just pop out. A little bit of luck. There we go. Remove the grease proof paper. Oh, perfect sponge. And I've got the third layer already in here cooling down. So there's my third layer already cooling down in in there, that one's done. So I've got me three layers all ready and all we've got to do now is add the cream filling and then oh, drizzle on top and eat. Mmm, that's the best bit, eating. So I'll do the cream filling and drizzle top next. Hello, welcome back. Right, it's time to do the cream filling and the drizzle top. For this you will need double cream lemon juice, lemon curd, elderflower cordial, uh, icing sugar and of course your trusty whisk. You don't have to use your trusty whisk but if you don't you're going to need arms like a barbarian because this takes a lot of whipping. So what you do first is add the double cream into the bowl and whisk it until it's it's semi solid. Uh, you'll know when this is because it thickens up and you can feel it with inside the whisk. Alright so do that first. Well, the cream is now basically half thick, so what you want to do, what is at this stage, so it's, not, it's still liquid, but it's still kind of a bit denser than what I was, put two massive heap spoonfuls of icing sugar in. Forget that, put three massive spoon thingies of icing sugar. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, I'm just doing it. Right, so put in that, and then put in, get your quarter, uh, elderflower cordial, I'm putting four tablespoons of this. So one, two, three, four, one for good luck, five. And then mix this till it is a stiff cream. Alright? So keep going, keep going till it's a really stiff cream. I'm going to do this on full power because it does it quicker, but you can see it getting thick now, see? So it's thickening up, but you want this really, really thick. So mix it all in until that's like solid and got peaks. You, oh bugger, you want peaks though. Splash that everywhere now. Right, your cream's all whipped and it should be proper stiff peaks. To check that it's proper stiff peaks, you should be able to do that with it. Yay! Right, so we put that to one side and we start filling the cake. Now first thing you want is your base and lemon curd. Is what I start with. So get yourself a knife and on there put a great big dollop of lemon curd and put it in the centre because this is your surprise in the middle. All right. Now it doesn't go on the second layer but it does go on the, the first layer. So another big dollop of that. Make sure you spread that nicely in like that. So a great big dollop of that and then just scrape off the knife. So you don't want to waste any of that bloody lovely filling. Sorry, I swore there. I said bloody. My nan would kill me. Even though she swears like a trooper. Right, now we get into the cream filling. Take a massive dollop of that and spread it over. And another big dollop. This is not a cake for the faint hearted or people who want to lose weight. We're really going for the cream filling on this one, I tell you. So whack as much in as you can of that. Spread it around even-ish. So that's evenly even-ish. And put on your second layer. So second layer going on, give it a little pat. And do the same again. Cream filling, don't worry about the lemon curd. The lemon curd only goes on the first one. So more cream filling on this one. 
and then stack on your third one and then we'll do the drizzle on top. As you can see that's our three tiered cake. Gorgeous looking isn't that? But let's make it even more gorgeous. So now we're doing the drizzle top. Take some icing sugar, pour it into a clean bowl and you want a fair bit because you want to drizzle all over the cake. So I'm doing that much. Get your lemon juice and you can use fresh lemon juice. I use this stuff just because I it's easier for me on a time scale. I don't have to start squeezing lemons and do stuff like that. So put in a good old drizzle on that and mix it till it's basically drippy icing. You want it sort of stable, sort of not, if you know what I mean. So you want it to set, but on the same reason, you want this to drizzle because it is a drizzle top. Hence the word drizzle. That is a little bit too wet, so add some more icing sugar. You can do this to, to feel, basically. Right, add a little bit more of that in. And you'll know when it's drizzle-tastic. It's got that drizzle feel to it. So there we go. That is drizzle goodness. I'm just going to give that a quick whip round to make sure there's no lumps and bumps in the icing sugar which is looking good now all you do to finish your cake is you get drizzling so just pour on the drizzle and then spread it out there we go let that baby drizzle away. Get it all to the edges on all sides. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your elderflower and lemon drizzle cake. Put that in a fridge and wait your friends turn up and serve it to them and they will be over the moon with the excitement of your wonderful cake. Thank you very much. Oh, one tiny thing before I go. What you can do is do a little bit of lemon on top, which takes two seconds. So all you would do, I'll do this very, very quickly, because we may be running out of time, is take a lemon, slice tiny bits of rind this is only for decoration because you'll take this off you won't eat it take tiny little bit I use three bits of lime lime I'm saying lime it's meant to be lemon sorry I'm getting my greens and yellows mixed up there so get some lemon rind Chop it off with a lemon and do this just to make it look nice. So, one, two, three. Just finishes it off. There you go. Happy drum and drizzle cake in. Thanks very much. Cheers now.